Alrighty, everybody. Now we are finally going to reach the 14th century in this uh, campaign. We are going to be doing the Malay campaign, Gajamada. Um, we're here over here in Indonesia. And we're going to start with the story of our founders. How appropriate. And his rule to the very edge of the unknown. The call of booty. Why are his people willing to sacrifice their livelihoods and even their lives for a ruler who sits on an ivory throne? The legends of our ancestors and the greatness they achieved drives us forward. All in Asia have heard of the great Srivijaya Empire. A grand power of the past that ruled all of the Indonesian islands. We dream to one day surpass these legends. In our culture, we hold the Kansil, a tiny mouse deer, the highest among the animals. Foreigners laugh mockingly at our reverence for such a benign creature. But they know nothing of the Kansil's heart. Despite its unimpressive appearance, the Kansil can overcome any obstacle and defeat much larger adversaries through sheer cunning. Its bravery is like that of no other animal. Our people are like the Kansil. Our enemies Your mouse underestimate dear? and mock us, but we will show them our true spirit. For that reason, the story of our empire's founder, Aya Wiraraja, is revered among our people. When faced with a Mongol invasion, he built an empire from a tiny village. Okie dokie. Wait for instructions. You can do that. Uh, you're restricted to the castle age uh, and a starting population limit of 75. Uh, things get a little bit interesting though because there's a bunch of villages and each village you capture will uh, raise your pop up to 125 max, but you, if you lose villages then you lose max pop space. It's kind of the gimmick of this scenario. Uh, you conquer villages by destroying their towers. Uh, you can get some techs scattered around here and there. Their Mongols cannot be trusted. Never trust the Mongols. And the castle in Kadiri gets regular supplies over land, which are used to train more soldiers. Blocking these supplies will help weaken their defenses. Our great ruler, uh, Radin Vijaya, is rebelling against his overlord Kadiri. Here in eastern Java, he plans to build a new kingdom named Majapahit. The Mongols have sent diplomats in the name of Kublai Khan to demand tribute from the Indonesian kingdoms. However, the Javanese humili humiliated their diplomats, and now the Mongol army has arrived in Java to punish them for it. Since we are both enemies of the Kadiri, it might be willing to uh, form a pact with them at some point. The Mongols have brought their famous horses with them and will raise an army of light cav, cav archers, mangadai, and siege units. Oh boy. To the east are the Singhasari, a former strong kingdom and now dominated by the Kadiri. They will have an aggressive uh, attack us with crossbowmen, cav archers, battle elephants, long swordsmen, and mangonels. Oh. To the west of us lies the fortified castle of Kadiri. It is in a very strategic position, and Kadiri retains control of the surrounding villages from here. As long as they have supplies, they will train knights, crossbows, pikemen, and battle elephants. Phew. Elephants. Did these used to be here? I don't remember them. And the Mongols consider me insignificant. I will show them what I am capable of. Conquer as many villages as you can and defeat their petty armies in the field. Only then will they realize the mistake they have made and recognize me as their superior. Okie dokie. So we are in Castle Age to start, but we're in... It's more like we're post-feudal age because we don't have any tax except loom and, you know, the two ages. Anyway. 
start another town center. And as soon as we go over here, we'll get some elephants. Indeed it will. And yeah, whenever you destroy a tower, or rather when anyone destroys a tower, you will... Well, the person destroying the tower will get a t their own tower in their place. So it's still actually worth it to upgrade your towers, because these towers are affected by all the upgrades we get. Anyway, we have an okay-ish sized army. Don't need gold income yet. Start clearing out some surrounding area. Seems good. I don't honestly remember exactly where all of the equipment is, but that's what we're going to find out together. Oh, I guess none of these units are affected because they were tributed from either the Javanese or Gaia. Alas. So yeah, these units aren't even worth all that much. Anyway, we're starting our Malay campaign, and to be honest, this is not one of my favorite campaigns out there. Because a lot of the scenarios feel really slow and grindy. And Malay aren't really a sieve that uh, are suited to that sort of thing. Well, I mean, they are when it comes to everyone's on pretty low resources, but... If you... if the enemies are not on low resources, then they kind of know aren't that great. Just keep taking more towers. So yeah, we have three enemies. The ability of basic counting can accomplish anything. Oh yeah, this is going to be super important, I remember now. Um, we just have to hang on a bit before we go and take it. Because once you, I think, destroy a tower or something, you get, I believe, two siege rams and a trebuchet. And as you're otherwise restricted to the castle age, uh, those things are pretty damn useful. So many freaking tigers, man. Anyway, isn't there... I thought there was a camp over here. Maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah. You might be thinking, Ornlu, haven't you done this on DE before? You You say you've done all the campaigns. And you would be right! I have done this on DE before. I just, uh, I don't know. Don't have the greatest memory for this campaign for some reason. Probably because I don't find it all that exciting normally. So maybe, just maybe, playing it along with you guys will make it more entertaining for everybody. Anyway, it looks like there's some equipment over there. Maybe you have to defeat these archers. Maybe it's archery equipment. You can tell because they, they have the uh, pavilions scattered around where there's equipment. Told you. So there's a lot of upgrades for free. Oh, we're housed, goddammit. I am big noob. Just get wheelbarrow, I guess. Oh, that one's kind of big and scary. Wait a minute. Did I just see something? Oh, I think it was one of the trade carts that are supplying... Kadiri. However, oh, let's not go over there just yet. 
I don't want to get the Siege Rams and Trebuchet until we're in a position to defend them, or use them and not have them just be destroyed instantly. And what I find strange about this scenario is you don't even get to make use of the Malay Age Up bonus. Because you start in Castle Age even though you don't have Feudal Age upgrades. Oh, hello, dear. Dearest heating unit. How I enjoy your constant interruptions. Honestly, it's even pretty hot in here. I'm going to turn it down. Very professional video maker, dude, person. I'm gonna start gathering. Okay, I thought she was trapped for a second. Um, might have to bring everyone home. I was gonna say we should start. Oh no, she is. She's trapped, isn't she? Nope, she's not. Oh, I just have a villager's task there. Like a buffoon. Uh-oh. Being... That was the wrong button. Being attacked from two fronts. Oh, we did get Bodkin from one of the... Well, I assume the archer weapons cache. Oh, I must have lost my light cap somewhere along the way. Anyway, um, our army is going to be composing primarily elephants. Because even though Malay elephants are really crappy, they are cheap and population efficient. Or at least more population efficient than a lot of other Malay units. Save it! I'm gonna need a university and a house. Should probably cool it with the villagers, though. I seem to remember there being some equipment over here, maybe? Oh, hey, hey! We are going to wall ourselves in, because this map's big. Remember when I said this campaign feels pretty slow? In fact, a lot of these maps are pretty damn big. <laughs> Definitely is a contributing factor. You know, what's a pop limit? 90? It's nice that they tell you right on the side how much pop limit you have. Please don't tell me I'm trapped. Phew. Oh, what? They didn't attack the villager? That's weird. Anyway, guard tower. Ballistics. Useful. No, not the villager. Not the nice lady. Okay, we are running pretty low on units. We do actually have lots of resources. Means we should do something with them. Anywho, uh, what the instruction things indicated is that the Mongols will ally with us for a time. I don't remember exactly what the uh, the impetus for that is. Like, 
I don't know what causes the, the trigger where they ask for your alliance. Uh, but they will at some point, and then when we do, we'll ally with them, because then they, you know, we won't have to deal with them attacking us, um, until we defeat either Kadiri or Singhasari. Once you defeat one of those two, then they'll turn enemy to us again. Yeah. And we're going to go after Kadiri first. Drop a castle. But yeah, I believe this fully walls us. Nope, yep, not yet. Can these elephants su survive? I'm not hopeful. Oh boy. Let's go for it. Yeah, Malaya Battle Elephants are super cheap. 84 food, 49 gold. For an elephant? That's pretty good. We're going to go see if there's some uh, more equipment down here so we don't have to spend money on researches that we would not have to spend money on. Like I said, I seem to remember there being some equipment over here. Oh, let's see if we can... Scootran looks like the Mongols are attacking them right there. Let's see if we can maybe avoid having to get those for a little bit. Oh, hey, a relic. That's pretty. No! Gotta debate him! Oh crap, they have ballistics, don't they? You bet they do! Nope! Nope! Please tell me I'm right. Watch out, Mongol horsemen. Wait. Oh, you know what? I see the dead bodies. You probably have to kill those horsemen. Stone, 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 stone. Don't worry, we're building another mill. <laughs> anyway, to raise our pop limit a bit, we're going to go take this one. Just bite the bullet and research those texts. Damned to the inefficiency. You can see that even with crappy Malay upgrades, um, the elephants are doing work. Maybe get some crossbowmen behind it. Ooh, what I will do is send these villagers forward to drop some siege workshops and stuff near Kadiri. Yeah, Malay lack the even castle age armor upgrade for their cavalry, which is obviously a pretty big deal. Oh! <laughs> Come on, guys, fight each other, not me! Ugh. Yeah. 
Garcia. Gonna get a couple of siege workshops here. I don't know why they haven't offered, or that is to say, I don't know why the Mongols haven't offered to be our friendos. You'd think they would. Yeah. Stop! Yeah, unfortunately, unlike the Khmer campaign, our elephants are slow and weak. Got him. Oh yeah, the uh, siege weapons. Now we now would be an excellent time to get them. Get some more elephants over there. Got all the blacksmith ups. Yeah, I think we just have to destroy these two towers, which are already injured. Can I get, get out this way? There are some resources this way, I remember, if you chop through. Whatever. There's another supply cart for Kadiri. But they probably already have, like, a ton of resources banked up. I guess we can get some reinforcing stables. Go, my elephants! Ah, I have no idea what the trigger for that was. <laughs> sure, why not? To my knowledge, there's no reason not to do this. So we are friends. Anyway, this is going to be really annoying, because these guys have more or less infinite resources, because we weren't able to, you know, deny any of their initial uh, carts, trade carts. So we really need to do our best to keep our trebuchet alive, especially, and the sea drams. Well, the Sea Drams are going to be pretty hard to keep alive, but Trebuchet is something we can definitely focus on. They have a lot of units, and a lot of them are bugging out. But yeah, it's a real pain in the ass to break through here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For, to have a clever idea once in my life. We're gonna build a, a castle of peace near the enemy city, just like with Henry the Lion. But yeah, they have another layer of walls and towers. Like, uh, it's annoying to break through here. But I still think the elephants are our best bet. Maybe some trample damage? Oh, hey guys. Forgot about you. Uh, looks like the Mongols have that one, actually. Uh, let's take this one. More pop space, the better, because now we're hitting our limit. 
ku penggali tambang. Okay, there's that guy down. How to go over here? And another layer of walls. Castle's right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do we have any elephants on standby? Uh, looks like I might have to kill that again. Oh, well. Looks like the light cav will clean up that room. Since I can click on the building, elephants should be enough. <gasps> no! Elephants do something! No! No! <sighs> anyway, uh, time to build a castle of peace. How did that knight even get there? One, how did the knight get there? And two, how did my units decide to not do anything useful? You can imagine how much more annoying this would be without uh, the trebuchet. And I guess the siege rams too. Awesome. Love we'll these guys ready for the... Uh, the Mongol betrayal. Let's get some stables around here. Maybe a swork shop or two. Nope, it's not. Oh, I lost most of my elephants, damn. Yep, probably gonna lose that one. Not a whole lot I can do about it. Oh, awesome. Is it be able to see, save both of the sea drums? At least for now. I know over here is the better place to put the mining camp, but I'm worried about DE pathing causing all my units to bump up. Wait, if none of the units are being aggroed and they're just going to let me take out their castle, I'm going to just take out their castle. There's this guy preventing me from getting a little more pop. Get him! Get him! Get him! There we go. Anyway, Kadiri should be resigning any moment. And then the Mongols will betray us. But that's why we have uh, the Elephants of Peace uh, right here on standby. Here we go. Aren't the Mongols going to betray us? I distinctly remember them doing that. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, 
Hooray! Elephants of peace. Oh yeah, and taking out the Mongol towers will uh, also raise our pop limit. Gold, 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 gold. Wait, how did the Kadiri get that? That was the Mongols like a second ago. Anyway, the Mongols do have a castle right there, so you gotta be careful for that, obviously. No! Need these fills to build more forward buildings! Oh, that's another town center. Aw, oh, seriously? Oh no, we did save three. Okay, sick. Onward. Oh yeah, also, once you defeat the Mongols, you'll get all their stuff. Like buildings and whatnot. Also, their villagers, I think. This doesn't seem incredibly useful, but hey, I mean, it's better than not getting stuff. Oh, what? Wait, okay, now we have it, finally. Oh, I guess we got the cavalry equipment, um, finally. But not that it really matters. Wait, seriously? Go, my elephants! Guess take that out. Anyway, we'll start rotating this way to get ready to take down Singhasari. Because these units should be plenty to take out the rest of the Mongols. Let's get some stuff over here. There we go. Oh, there we go. There now they're gonna resign. So they are retreating to China. Let us take what they leave behind. Awesome. Now once we destroy this tower, I guess we'll control all of them. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can get eco upgrades over here. That's actually probably the one you should make a beeline for if you can survive it. But see how long this scenario feels? Like, it just feels like the scenario is so goddamn long. But yeah, now we have max pop limit. Attack? Attack? Just want to make sure my rams have no ability to get stuck. Uh, Singhasari is walled, so 
Not as much as Kadiri, but you still have to be a little bit careful. Look at this mighty army of pachyderms. Yep, here's the walls. Sigh. Uh, can you build docks in this scenario? I forgot. I guess you could try and take control of the river if you wanted. Actually, you might not be able to... I mean, you might technically be allowed to build docks, but I don't... It looks like you're not able to, like, physically construct them except, like, here when you're already at their doorstep. Anyway, uh, Singasari is the one enemy that doesn't have a castle. So that's uh, at least somewhat convenient. No, not the trebuchet. Attack this long swordsman. They do have a larger army than us right here, but I believe maybe it'd help if I didn't have all my elephants going the speed of battering rams. Not that either unit's fast, but uh, one is much faster than the other. Oh, rip treb. Oh well, he did his job. He killed some castles, especially against Kadiri here. The trebuchet is critical. And there goes the siege ram. But we should just be able to elephant and ram our way through. Just killing some random archer units. It looks like we're already breaking them. And their pop limit's pretty low too because, well, we have the high pop limit. Maybe you need to destroy more than just their town center, but I don't think it, you need to destroy much more than their town center, because they only have the one, if I recall correctly. Yeah, they don't even have masonry, which is nice. Speaking of masonry, I was playing a multiplayer game uh, earlier today. Masonry literally won me the game. It was Gold Rush, and I had the control of the middle with the castle. And the enemy was trebbing it, and I was just trying to hold on. And I got masonry and hoardings, because I was Slavs and didn't, you know, didn't have architecture on top of that. But regardless, uh, my castle got down to 600 HP, and it wouldn't have survived if I didn't have masonry. And then hoardings on top of it. Just saying, building upgrades or building HP upgrades are pretty good. Come on, guys, you're so dead. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys after the game, but there's actually a sneak attack route that either you or uh, Singh Hasari can make use of. Yeah. 
How much do these guys even have left? Oh, there we go. It's all the first scenario is over an hour long. The next one's going to be long, and the one after that, and the one after that. The last one's actually really short, but the other ones are all pretty long. Anyway, that should be it. Any second? With Kadiri conquered, and the Mongols fleeing to China like cowards, it is time for the Majapahit to become the one true Indonesian Empire. And oh yeah, so um, you can chop through here, and then either you or Kadiri can just go right to each other's bases. Uh, I didn't choose to chop through there because not really much of a point. Also, uh, once you chop through over here, you have access to a big old pile of gold as well as some extra food and wood. Just to let you know. Not a whole lot else to see. I heard the shark many times when I was a child. Through the cunning of the Kensil, he defeated both his Javanese overlords and the mighty Mongols. Now, Arya did not do this alone. I have always believed that the gods favored him and his descendants. That is why I, Gajamada, commander of the elite guard of the Majapahit kings, have sworn to serve the royal family until my last breath. Oh boy. KD still bugged. I guess we negative... We tributed negative 50 population to ourselves. Anyway, that will be the story of our founders. And next up will be an achievement scenario with unconditional loyalty. See you guys then.